within this video, I'm going to show you how to split recordings into separate tracks with using Audacity. So we're going to enter Audacity. Now, splitting recordings is fairly simple. You can split any type of audio track or MP3, MP4 of some sort. Um, this can actually be an audio that features a live lecture, or it can be something as simple as a, a music recording. I'm actually going to split a recording um, of a song that I have within my MP3 file. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go up to File. Now we can either go to Open or we can go to Import to to actually um, upload the file that we want to select. I'm going to select Open. I'm going to go to the first option, which was Avant, Don't Take Your Love Away, which is a pretty good song. Now, there are multiple places where we could start highlighting um, the area that we want it to be exported or which area we want for the track to be separated. So, I'm going to select this area. I'm going to click, drag over. Now, this area right here is actually the course, I believe. So, I'm just going to hit the space bar or the play option. And that is the course. Now, since this, this area is still highlighted, we're going to go up to Analyze. And we're going to go down to Sound Finder. Now, the settings for this is actually really good. Uh, you don't need to really change anything. You can, still, you can still dabble around with them if you like. However, everything is set up really well. So we're just going to hit OK. Now, as you can see, there is... Um, there's a straight bar down here and there's an area where you can actually name name the selected or highlighted area that you selected so we're going to name this area chorus um, sorry about that this is control Z which is undo I'm going to do it in the actual highlight area. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Now, uh, we can actually do as many of these tabs or namings as, uh, as you like. So, I can actually start here, drag over, because this entire area over here looks like it would be the second verse. So, once again, I'm going to go up to Analyze. I'm going to go down to Sound Finder. Selecting OK, I'm going to name the option verse 2. Now, like I said, once again, you can actually do this throughout the entire thing. Like, if I wanted to go back here, I could rename this chorus, this area right here. I could rename, I can name bridge, and so forth. Just like within an MP3 lecture, you might have an area that refers to, oh, say, um, like writing a task analysis or a needs assessment you could highlight that area name it needs assessment blah 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 go to another area highlight it. it might be an area concerning objectives or generative strategies of some sort and you can just name it that and so forth now in order to save this um, as you click here you you see that there is a a yellow line which is where which is where this section begins and you're going to drag over until you actually hit that other yellow line now um, once you've actually highlighted that area you can save and export this so in order to do that we're going to go back up to file and we're going to go down to export selection now I already have this saved and exported but I'm, I'm gonna do it again anyways I'm going to name it sample 2 as you can see it's already it's already listed as an mp3 file which is great we're gonna hit save okay as you can see it's saved really fast to make sure it's there I'm going to go down to uh, the file in which I saved it under here we go sample 2 
and as you can see it's there it popped up really quick and it's been saved as an mp3 now um there is another way to split a track or what consider or what other people consider splitting recordings into separate tracks uh the way that this is done people actually add another another uh mp3 file and they kind of they kind of place it towards the end of the other song or mp3 file um i will show you exactly what i'm talking about now for this we're going to go down to import oh sorry down to import <laughs> we're going to select audio you're going to select another song which you like or our audio file and uploads pretty fast as you can see now for this I'm going to want to select it which I double clicked I'm going to select the shift tool I'm going to hold down and drag this over to an area where I think it will sound okay at then I'm gonna go back up and click this big eye which undoes the selection of the shift tool and I'm going to play it from here actually that's kinda of far out, I'm gonna start from here sound the best so I'm gonna highlight this area one more time and shift it over a little bit more hit the eye once again to unshift play Okay, that sounded a lot better. Now, um, in order to save this, we would go up to File. We would go down to Export instead of Export Selection. And you would name you name this file whatever you like, and then you would hit Save. And, th and those are two different ways that you can split recordings into separate tracks. I hope that this video was help useful and that you can use this within future projects. Thank you.